What up, players? It's Warboss here with this mode. Today we're gonna kit bash in the Warboss Chop Shop a Ministorm Priest. So I've got a couple of pieces here. I've got a flagellant, Empire flagellant body, the arm with the double headed ball and uh, spiky ball on chain. I've got one of the flagellant's heads. I was thinking of using a different head, but I mean, these crazy old man heads are just so appropriate. So it's just one with his mouth open, screaming, and his long beard and long flowy hair. Uh, the other arm that connects to the weapon. So this is all from the Empire Flagellants kit. And then from the Chaos Space Marines, I got a chain sword. It doesn't have to be from the Chaos Space Marines I had lying around if you want to use a Space Marine one or uh, any one. As long as it's, I, I would stay away from the Imperial Guard one. I actually, Chaos Space Marines or the Chaos Space Marine like Raptors, those are the best because their chain swords go all the way around, which is kind of what the Eviscerators that the, um, what, what's it called, Sisters Repentia use. So that's kind of how we're gonna model our So Just like a chainsaw, blades go all the way around. And a last pistol in a holster from the Imperium Guard tank commander kit. Again, not really needed, but if you wanna be WYSIWYG, then that's, it's for the best. So, I've also got my Model Master Liquid Cement for plastic models because we are using all plastic models. There's no metal pieces in this conversion. Let's get started. I'm going to glue the pistol to the torso. Wait. 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 Uh, my schnozzle is all clogged. What? The nozzle for... What? <laughs> the nozzle. The what? The schnozzle. The what? The schnozzle! Are you filming? Maybe. Maybe I am filming. Who knows? Okay, so we're gonna put the glue. Hey. On. Hello. Stop filming. You gotta edit that out. No, I'm I'm one take war boss. <laughs> I'm a, me. I'm a one taker. Yep. So I'm just gluing the hip hey. holster to the hip here, and we're just gonna hold that on for a second. Then, while we're letting that dry, why don't we also glue him to the base? I tried to pick a flagellant that didn't have lots of chains of, like around his ankles or uh, hanging off of his body. There, there's a couple around his waist, but that's, that's doable. All right, so while we're letting that dry, we're gonna get to work on the rest of the conversion. We're gonna clip off the top of the chain with the flail. Save this for later, right into the bits box. So now we have to figure out how we are going to create our eviscerator. You don't wanna clip too close to the hand but what I found works best is if you clip right under, uh, right where the like wrist guard meets the bottom part. I'm actually gonna, just to get closer, clip the whole arm away. And so when you, when you clip here, right at the bottom, then it separates this part, which we want, we wanna keep this vertical kind of uh, wrist guard. We don't want the rest, so I'm gonna get as close to it as I, as I dare and carefully snip away. Then I'm gonna clip out a diagonal to get these some finger joints out of the way. 
Then when I've got about uh, just just about that much, then I'm gonna take a hobby knife and very, very, very carefully shave it down the last little bit there. So you want to, the, the goal is you want a flat surface. Always be safe. Cut away from yourself unless you're a crazy, crazy person like me. And you want a flat surface that can go onto the top of your newly created eviscerator <coughs> base. So your, your chainsaw should look something like that. So now what I'm gonna do is dry fit them. Yeah, it looks like it fits. It's nice. What I might wanna do is, yeah, you know what? Just because it'll be a bigger surface area, I think I'm gonna clip it all the way down to the hand. Could be a big mistake, I've never done this before, but let's, let's go with it. I'm feeling inspired. So now I'm gonna glue the arm to the body. liquid cement is it doesn't immediately dry like super glue does. Super glue dries really fast. With liquid cement for plastic you're gonna be kind of fidgeting around a little bit which is okay because it gives you more time to fix any errant mistakes that you make but at the same time it, it just means that you're gonna be holding a fidgety model for a little bit longer. Okay, so there's the bottom half. Glue on the chain sword. Oh, this is actually gonna look pretty cool, I think. Oops. I can actually shave down the back a little bit more. Just so it's flush. I want this part to be a little bit flush. And stick that guy right on top. I'm gonna make sure that the angle is correct by checking to make sure that it's gonna glue correctly, which it should, like that. A little bit more glue in the back just to seal it. And time for the crazy head piece. And there you have it. A Ministorm Priest using just a very minimal uh, bunch of parts. If you build your Space Marines or Chaos Space Marines to have bolters rather than bolt pistol and chain sword, then you should have more than enough options to choose from. I would actually, now that I think about it, stay away from the Raptor and Warp Talents kit because those chain swords have a lot of uh, chaosified iconography on it. This one has <clears throat> just, you know, a skull or maybe an arrow, not too much, and it has the required. Um, chain teeth on the back as well as on the front. So there you go, a Ministorm Priest for your games of 40k. Don't forget the square base. It's not a fantasy model, so so, I mean, so you want a circle base rather than a square base. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Warboss Chop Shop. And we'll see you in the next video. Latest players! Warboss Chop Shop! Warboss Chop Shop! <laughs>